During the 2012 season, the Spartans often struggled to win some very close games, a testament to the inexperience of a first-year starting quarterback and a lack of explosive plays. But towards the end of the season, the growth and development in the passing game helped propel the team to finish on a strong note. Keith Humphrey inside the five, rambles to the goal line. Quick throw left side, caught in the end zone. Holding it in is Benny Fowler, touchdown. Takes the snap, has some time. Crossing pattern throw over the middle. Aaron Burbridge has got it. Cuts inside the five, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Well, that's certainly one of the things that we're looking for in this spring. And at the beginning of the spring, Coach Warner put up a list of offensive objectives. Uh, There's about five things on the list, and one of those things was find our playmakers. If you're not going to have explosive plays, it's hard to sustain drives, 80 yards, or, or however long it takes to score. So the explosive plays allow you to to get those big chunks and, and score more touchdowns. You know, as you self-scout yourself in the offseason, you're looking at things, what, what do we need to improve on? And statistics, obviously, we need to be better with scoring points and red zone, what we do in the red zone. And, and one of the things we're sort of featuring or highlighting would be really making plays, you know, and, and who are the guys that are going to have the ability to make plays. We're trying to take the steps every day in spring practice to make the explosive play. And it's gotten a lot better, especially with the experience that we gained last year from 2012. I mean, our wide receivers are really coming along. After our 2011 season, we, we lost a lot of key players. And so our guys were young last year, but now you get to see them, they're kind of coming into their own and, and making a name for themselves. Those guys are really just making plays. And now, now we have quarterbacks back there who can run around and, and get the ball downfield. Uh, I'm excited to see what those guys can do. I think last year, uh, we struggled with being consistent. And as long as we stay consistent and find the playmakers, I think we can be very dangerous. You know, I don't think there's any secret sometimes in what we do, what we say, but. Um, you know, I think that if you ask our coaches, they need to get the tough yard at times. And again, it's all relative. It falls on all of us as an offense, from uh, myself and Coach Bowman all the way down through, uh, through our offensive football team for us to uh, design those plays, call those plays. They're going to give us those opportunities, and then guys got to go out and do it. One of the playmakers gone from last year is Le'Veon Bell. But with any Michigan State team, the run game is still a key ingredient to winning games something that will continue to be stressed this spring. You know, I think not surprising anybody, we've been very successful running the ball, and I think that we have to continue to be successful running the ball. Now, uh, and, and part of that is, is, you know, what's going to happen to running back situation. You know, it's a little bit uh, different situation. Who's going to leave on? One, we got to run the ball. we got to run the ball. We've got to provide lanes as an offensive line. We've got to be able to make those cuts as a running back. We need to be an offense that there's a gap, and that's been the biggest talk uh, the whole entire spring. Who's going to be at tailback? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be Langford? Is it going to be Tompkins? Is it going to be the freshman coming in? That's the biggest question. So to us right now, going in, coming out of the spring, is that we need to let the coaches know that even though Le'Veon is gone, that, that it was a big part of our offense, that we're still going to be able to run the ball, we're still going to be productive running the ball. Riley move, moving over there, and as spring concluded, it certainly adds a, a weapon for us. That's, that's how I want them to look at me as a you know hard-nosed downhill runner. I think that's what Le'Veon was for the most part. You know, he did so many things well, and he carried our offense in so many ways that just to try to step in and be that guy who can you know potentially carry an offense is how I look at it. You know, I think in order for me to do that, I have to be physical and a downhill runner. We need a banger. We need a guy who can bang it. If we don't find a freshman who can do that better than Riley, then Riley's going to be that guy. I think he needs to enter the, the, uh, the fall camp as a running back and let things sort of displace itself. Uh, Coach Sitting uh, always emphasizes that, uh, you know, first of all, we got to protect the quarterback. And uh, Coach Bowman also says the same thing. Uh, you know, it all starts with protection. So, uh, you know, we, we take it upon ourselves. You know, we, we, uh, you know, we put that in our hearts to pretty much, you know, go out there and, you know, we got to protect our brother. With a new twist this spring, Coach D'Antonio decided to make the quarterbacks live, something that challenged the offense to create plays when things broke down. Well, what we try to do with the quarterbacks is allow them to compete, first of all. And to do that, you've got to try and make it as game-like as we can. So we took the red shirts off our guys. We allowed them to be hit, not just in scrimmages, but in drills as well. So a drill that we would have set up to create a scramble-type drill or create drill, as we call it, you know, it was a live situation for our pass rush guys to be able to, um, to reach our quarterbacks. I don't know how many teams in the country 
um, trade their quarterbacks red jerseys in for green ones and make them live. But that's something that we, we started doing last bowl practice and something that we've continued this spring. And, and I don't think it's done anything but help us because it really makes it as game-like and as realistic as possible. So we're just trying to replicate, hey, here, here's Saturday in Spartan Stadium. We're trying to do it today on a Tuesday in spring football. And so I think they like it. And they, even in some of the situations we've gone into, they request, hey, let's be live, because they want to know if they're sacked or not, because sometimes maybe gets whistle gets blown early and they think they could get away. Well, we find out. Now we know for sure. I find it very beneficial only because it's exactly like a real game. You go out there every single day in practice with us being live and it's like you're playing a real game and that can only make us better. We're live until the whistle, we're live until we're down and it just only prepares us for games on Saturday. So when, when the time comes and we're out there on a 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock day on Saturday and guys are you know flying around trying to tackle us, it'll be just like practice. And I think if we're going to be really good on offense, we've got to improve our passing game. Uh, and starts from everybody. Starts number one with the protection. Um, and, and, you know, I think to, to create some situations where those guys have some more time so they can, so they can build some confidence, so they can, uh, you know, count on some routes being open where, where it's not a, you know, a moving situation for the quarterback. <laughs>you look at now in the QB room, you got some, some very talented younger quarterbacks. And so it's neat to see Connor, who he's also played. Certainly there's competition going on right there. We got some other good talent there at the quarterback, but uh, we're happy where Andrew's at right now. Uh, but we're going to continue to look at him to, to pick up the slack a little bit uh, as far as the big play category is. As I talk to our quarterbacks, the bottom line is it all falls in their lap at the end of the day. It falls in the head coach's lap, it falls in the quarterback's lap. It literally does. So they have to do something with that between now and our first game. And uh, I don't think there's any question we all improve over a point of time and we got to push it. Don't lie to us, Coach Eddie.